Hey everyone, back with another beginning Japanese lesson. Today, lesson 10, self-introductions and greetings. Um, lessons 1 through 9, basically, this is the accumulation of everything that we've learned in those lessons. So we're going to apply pretty much everything um, from there in this lesson. Today's key phrase or sentence is Hajimemashite, Smith desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Today's vocabulary, we have a bunch of new phrases. It's basically all phrases today. Uh, I'm just going to start at the top. Hajimemashite. 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 Nice to meet you. Dozo yoroshiku. Dozo yoroshiku. And the one below that. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Please be kind to me is how I translate it in English. I'm going to talk more about that later. Shitsureishimasu. Goodbye. Jane, Jane. See ya. See you later. Ogenki deska. Ogenki deska. Ogenki deska. Are you well? Or oftentimes it's translated as, How are you? And then, Ohayo, Ohayo Zaimas. Ohayo Zaimas. Good morning. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. Or just hello. Right? Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Good evening. And finally, Otsukare. Otsukare sama desu. Otsukare sama desu. I translated this as hello, but it's very um, dependent on the circumstances. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Getting right into the grammar, how to introduce yourself. So, self introductions in Japanese, you're going to be doing these a lot, okay? Typically, they start with the phrase, Hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. In English, right? Nice to meet you. Um, then you say your name. For me, I would say, Amejin des. Amejin des. Hajime mashite. Amejin des. Typically, after this, you can add some personal information like where you're from, what languages you speak, uh, what school you go to, what year you are, what your major is. You can even add like your hobbies, a bunch of stuff like that. It is optional. The very basic introduction is just, Hajime mashite. Your name, des, and then end with yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Or the other phrase in our vocabulary, dozo yoroshiku. Dozo yoroshiku. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. I almost exclusively used yoroshiku onegaishimasu when I was in Japan. For example, here's a sample self introduction. Hajime mashite, Mike desu. Doitsu kara kimashita. Doitsu go ga hanasimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. That's a perfectly simple good self-introduction. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. I come from Germany. I can speak German. Uh, please be nice to me. <laughs> Let me talk about that. Please be nice to me right now. That yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Um, this is a phrase very unique to Japanese. You will actually hear it a lot. You'll hear it a lot in, in a bunch of different situations, not just self-introductions. Um, and the meaning usually changes depending on the situation. Literally translated, it's it's something like, please be kind to me, or, you know, let's be kind to each other, uh, something like that. Um, Japanese is a polite culture and a polite language. Everyone is polite all the time. Um, even in your self-introductions, you always end with something like, please be nice to me, or let's be kind to one another. Something like that. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Something like, yeah. Um, Remember to always end your self-introductions with that. Japanese people do it all the time. They end their self-introductions with yoroshiku onegaishimasu or dozo yoroshiku. Um, and, you know, that's also to let them know that you're done. You're done introducing yourself. And sometimes when you're done, you'll do this a lot in Japan. You may even be asked to do this by a professor or a teacher or club leader or something like that. And being a foreigner, um, people will usually <laughs> clap. For you, like ah, and other people, oh, Joe, like you're you're so good at Japanese, and even if you're bad, they'll they'll praise you. It's really funny actually to see all the time. So here's a sample uh, introduction between these two people who I guess are meeting for the first time. The top guy says, "Hajime mashite, Morita desu." I don't have the furigana, but this is Morita. Morita desu. Tokyo kara kimashita. He's from Tokyo. Tokyo daigaku no gakusei desu. So remember, gakusei means student. Uh, this no connects the two nouns together. So Tokyo, so Tokyo, daigaku, university. 
Tokyo Daigaku is Tokyo University student. He's a Tokyo University student. Okay? And then he says, Sanensei desu. He's a third year student. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. That's the ending of your self introduction. Literally, please be kind to me. And then the woman below him says, Hajime mashite. Lisa desu. Her name is Lisa. Nigeria shushin desu. Remember, this is another way to say where you're from. Place shushin desu. Nigeria shushin desu. I'm from Nigeria. Daigakusei desu. She is a university student. Senko wa nihongo desu. So, senko, remember, is uh, your major in school, what you're studying in school. Senko wa nihongo desu. So, she's studying Japanese. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Perfectly uh, normal self introductions right here. Activity one uh, give a brief self introduction for each person as if you were them based on the information provided. Now, um, I'm not going to have an answer slide for this. I'm just going to give you <laughs> my sample self introductions. Um, so I'm sorry if you want to know <laughs> an answer slide, that is. Let's get started. You can pause if you want to try it on your own first. Maybe write down your answers and then compare to what I'm about to say right now. Okay, number one, Jackie. Jackie. Uh, Shushin is Americano Chicago. So, Americano Chicago, remember Japanese goes from broad to specific, so from bigger to smaller. America, the country, to the specific city, Chicago. Uh, this is like saying Chicago, USA. Like this. So, Shushin is Americano Chicago. Senko Business. She is 23 sai. She is 23 years old. Tokyo Daigaku no Gakusei desu. She is a student at Tokyo Daigaku, Tokyo University. Ego ga hanasemasu. She can speak Spanish. So let's do, let's pretend we're Jackie and we're doing a self introduction for her. Hajime mashite, Jackie desu. Amerika no Chicago kara kimashita. Senko wa business desu. Tokyo Daigaku no and that's it. All right. Um, the main thing I'm looking for here is, you know, that you're at least saying "hajimemashite" your name, des, and then "yoroshikonegaishimasu." The other stuff is just optional. Number two, Harvey. Harvey from English. Let's pretend we're Harvey and giving a self introduction. "Hajimemashite, Harvey des." え、フランスから来ました。え、パリ大学の学生です。え、戦後は工学です。25歳です。フランス語が話せます。どうぞよろしく。And that's very perfect, perfectly acceptable self-introduction. Okay? Paris, by the way, Paris, if you didn't know, is Paris. <laughs> Paris 大学, University of Paris. I assume there's one, I don't know. I just made it up. Number three, Sera. Uh, what would her self introduction be? Hajime mashite, Sera desu. Brazil shushin desu. Ma, daigakusei desu. Senko wa keizai gaku desu. Hatachi desu. Hatachi. Ninensei desu. Eigo mo, spengo mo, hanasemasu. Dozo yoroshiku. Okay, and I tried to, uh, you know, mix up some of the phrases and words in there that I use, but uh, I think you all got the point. Let's move on to greetings and farewells. So based on the time of day, you're going to give some different greetings. Of course, like we, we do it in English, same thing. Um, good morning, of course, over here would be ohayo or ohayo gozaimasu. And I'll talk about the differences in a second, when to say which one. Good afternoon, or just hello in general, is konnichiwa, konnichiwa, okay? And then good evening, if you're greeting someone at night or in the evening hours, konbanwa, 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 okay? Now, uh, about this gozaimasu in parentheses, there are times when you have to speak more politely or more formally uh, to some people than you do with others. People generally your age or younger, um, you can speak kind of informally to them, right? Your own family, you would speak informally to your own family members. 
Um, but if you're speaking to people you, who you know are older than you, especially if, if you know they're much older than you, or if you're speaking to people who are over you, like in your job or in a club or like your sensei, you need to speak either politely or formally, usually formally. In Japanese, there are three levels of um, politeness, I guess, formality. There's informal, there's polite, and then there's formal. And I already talked about informal, right? Your friends and family. Polite, you, you really talk politely to people who you've just met, strangers, people you don't know so well, or people that you do know but you're not as close to, okay? That's polite. And then formal are, you know, people who deserve your respect. So your teachers or the emperor of Japan. <laughs> Customers, if you're a waiter and you're working, the customer in Japan is higher than you. So you use formal Japanese with them as well. In this case, we have ohayou gozaimasu. Usually, polite or formal phrases will be longer and more convoluted than the informal phrases. Ohayou gozaimasu is more formal than just ohayou Ohio. So you can say Ohio with your friends, Ohio, or uh, well, and with your professors, you say Ohio Zaimas. Ah, sensei, Ohio Zaimas. Maybe bow a little bit, you know, respect. Um, funny story. When I first started Japanese classes in university, my first classes, my very first sensei was very relaxed and laid back, and she didn't really care about formality all too much. So I would always, she would greet us with Ohio. We would greet her with Ohio, and it was just very casual. Um, I then changed universities, and I took Jap more Japanese classes, and um, they were. It was a more. It was a better university. It was a better program. It was more strict. It was more rigorous, and <laughs> I can remember the first day um, I placed in the intermediate at that university, and the sensei walked in, and everyone else is accustomed to the formality, except for me. I'm new, and the sensei walked in that morning and said, "Ohio." And everyone immediately said, Ohayou zaimas. And me, not knowing, you know, how strict it was there, I, I, I looked around, oh, Ohayou. My sensei, I kid you not, stopped walking to the front of the class. And he stopped right by me at my desk. And he turned and he looked at me and he, and he smiled kind of creepily. And he said, Ohayou gozaimas. And he, he like made me say, Ohayou gozaimas to him. And uh, I learned quickly that day that, ooh, they, are, uh, they do things by the book at this university. But really, that's how it should be. That's the safe way, right? You should be polite to your teachers and people over you who deserve respect. So, let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> Use ohayou gozaimasu to people who deserve your respect, okay? An example. Uh, the first person, the top up here, first person says, Ah, sensei, ohayou gozaimasu. And then the next person says, Ohio, and we can infer, because of the politeness, who is the sensei and who is the student. This is the student up here, and this is the sensei responding to the student's greeting. <laughs> Enough of greetings, let's get to asking, how are you, or are you well? The phrase for this, uh, the um, polite phrase, is, O genki desu ka? O genki desu ka? Which is short to genki <laughs> in informal situations, very informal situations with your good friends and family. Genki, genki, genki. So, for example, sensei, o genki desu ka? Are you doing well, sensei, professor? Sensei would say, hai, genki desu. If they are genki, if they are well. This next example is more informal. Yuki, genki, yuki, genki. You're asking Yuki if he's well. <laughs> If he's not, he could say, mm, genki janai. Mm, genki janai. Maybe he had a breakup or something like that. I don't know. He's not well. And then finally, the last phrase. I think this is the last phrase. I don't know. We have a few more. Um, if you're greeting classmates and club members on like campus, uh, you will typically hear them say, otsukare, or otsukare-sama, otsukare-sama desu. I've heard it shortened like three ways. So, otsukare. Uh, remember, <laughs> there's formality involved. If you are in a club, you will likely have a club leader or people over you, people who've just been in the club longer. They're, called, they're your seniors. They're called senpai in Japanese. 
your senpai to your senpai. <laughs> Japanese society and culture dictates that you use more polite, formal Japanese with them because they're higher than you. They have more experience than you. So you would say to your senpai if you see them, you know, on campus or if you see them outside of campus, wherever, you would say, Otsukaresama desu. Otsukaresama desu. And they might say back to you, ah, otsukare or otsukaresama, otsukaresama desu. You know, they can say really whatever they want to you. Um, that's just Japanese society and culture. Um, this phrase is interesting because tip, it comes from the workplace. This is actually from, if you've studied business Japanese, you'll know this phrase. Japanese university clubs and organizations use it a lot. Um, at least they did when I was in a club. I remember being in a Japanese university and in a club and people who saw me, you know, outside of the club or even if I had classmates see me, they would say, oh, otsukare, otsukare sama, stuff like that. It just means hello. It's a greeting. For example, otsukare, hello, otsukare sama desu, hello. <laughs> there's really, in Japanese, there's a few ways to say hello. In English, it's all just one. No formality. Oh, to say goodbye um, to your superiors, your sensei, people above you. If you're in your professor's office and you, you know, you're done asking your questions or talking with them, you can leave by saying and then close the door after you. Um, a more informal way of saying bye or see ya is I said this all the time with all my friends. Anyone really just use dane with me. It's very, very, very informal and casual Japanese. Um, the book that I'm following the order of uh, for these lectures, Nakama, lists another way to say it. It's, I forget exactly what it is. Jamata, jamata, matane, matana, something like that. Matane. Maybe you've heard that before. You can also say that um, jane is just the one that I've heard the most in Japan. Uh, for example, sensei, shitsureishimasu. Goodbye, sensei. Goodbye, professor. Jane, see ya. Good translation. Our next activity, finally, provide the appropriate response for each greeting or farewell. And you have to note the formality and the politeness. So you can stop the video right now if you want to try it on your own. I'm going to do it right now. Number one, your professor says, Ohayo to you. What do you say? Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. Mm -hmm. Gotta be formal. Number two, your friend says, Ohayo. What do you say? Ohayo. <laughs> right? It's your friend. You can be casual with them. Ohayo. Ohayo. Number three, your friend says, Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Now, this is maybe, I guess, a trick question. I don't know. It's just, Konbanwa. There's no formality, right, when it comes to good evening. The phrase good evening. Konbanwa. Number four, you want to leave and you're, you're with your professor. You should say, uh, Number five, your friend, you're saying goodbye to your friend. What do you say? And finally, number six, you see a classmate maybe on campus or on the street somewhere. They say, to you. What do you say? You can say, if you want, any of those is fine. Here are some sample answers. And we're ending the lesson, um, getting to our listening practice. I'm going to read two compositions twice. Listen carefully, listen carefully, and write down what you hear either in your brain or on a piece of paper. Ready? Here we go. Number one. おはようございます。お元気ですか?おはようございます。お元気ですか?Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to show the answer right now. おはようございます。お元気ですか?Number two. はじめまして、リサです。アメリカ人です。どうぞよろしく。はじめまして、リサです。アメリカ人です。どうぞよろしく。Again, pause the video if you need more time. That one was kind of long. Here's the answer. 
はじめまして、リソです。アメリカ人です。どうぞよろしく。うん。Okay. Our activity for translation practice translate the following statements into either Japanese or English. First one up here is the guy is saying in Japanese, Konbanwa, Ima, Gogo, Shiji des. And you should remember the times. I threw in time in here just to、uh, keep it fresh in your mind. And in English, this is Good evening. It's 7 p.m. now. <laughs> Gogo, p.m., Shiji, 7 o'clock. On the bottom, we have、uh, Nice to meet you. I'm John. I'm from Canada. Please be kind to me.、Uh, in Japanese, we would say, Hajime maste, John des, Canada shushin des, Yoroshiku o n a g a i s h i m a s Now, this isn't the only way to say this, right? You could also have translated it to, Canada kara kimashita. Canada kara kimashita. And instead of Yoroshiku o n a g a i s h i m a s you could have also said, Dozo Yoroshiku. Dozo Yoroshiku. Okay. Going back to our key phrase, Hajime maste, Smith des, Yoroshiku o n a g a i s h i m a s So now you know this is a very bare bones basic introduction. That's all you need. Your homework is to introduce yourself. Use the phrases that we just learned today.、Um, give a basic self introduction. Tell us a little, bit, a little bit about yourself. I'd love to hear about you. You can write it in the comments section below or just you know, in your journal or if you have anything that you're using to write down Japanese. Practice saying it fluently over and over and over again because you're going you're gonna to be saying it a lot in Japan. Uh, if and when you go. Okay? Say it in the mirror, say it in your room, say it you know, before you eat. I don't care. Just do it.、Um, and then, of course, there's a worksheet. Every lesson, there's a worksheet. It's on my website. You can go and check that out. Please download it and use it. And finally, that's the end of the lesson.、Um, I hope it was really helpful for you guys. I think it was kind of long this time around. Sorry about that. There's a lot, of, a lot when it comes to the culture. When it comes to formality and stuff like that, you do have to be careful. Please play it safe. You don't want people giving you bad looks. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in a future lecture.